Ski Superpipe gold medalist from last year, Sarah Burke of Canada, passed away in January while doing what she loved most. Heavy hearts, no doubt, around this family tonight. Luke, the reflections of Sarah Burke and the tragedy. Well, you know, it's just been uh, such an earth-shattering blow for the entire ski community. Everyone in the world that ever met that young lady absolutely loved her. She did so much for the sport, and she was just truly an amazing person to be around. She was a winner here last year and just was amazing. Well, she's left a huge impact on the sport, there's no doubt, and the athletes all have felt that Sarah has impacted their life in so many ways. In fact, some of these skiers met Sarah when they were quite young, and that inspired them to get going in skiing. Tonight, we have a chance to hear from some of our Winter X athletes reflect on their memories of time spent with Sarah. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite Sarah, Sarah memories is from the ESPYs this summer. Uh, we were both there and, and, you know, we're a skier and a snowboarder on the red carpet, you know, with all of these mainstream uh, sports <laughs> figures. And so uh, it would have been really easy to kind of feel out of place, but it was fun having her there because we were in it together, you know, like, okay, yeah, familiar face, like, we've got this. <laughs> the first time I met Sarah was at Momentum Ski Camps in Whistler, and she was my coach for one of those days and the whole camp went pretty poorly for me and uh, Sarah came up to me and asked me if I wanted to go for ice cream with her and that was so special to me because it was like my first time meeting her and so we went for ice cream and talked about skiing and boys and boys and skiing and ice cream and I think that was the, kind of the beginning of our relationship. She told me that she thought we were really alike. <laughs> and I remember I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. Like Sarah thinks I'm like, because she was, you know, she's my idol and, and I've always looked up to her and it was cool to think that she thought I was like her. C'est l'an dernier pendant les games, en fait, après mon troisième run, j'étais en première place et il restait plus que Sarah à descendre. Our last rider to go tonight. Many people consider this half-pipe contest her to lose. She is the one with the most technical bag of tricks. Et elle fait le run du siècle avec des tricks que j'avais jamais vu faire avant. Et j'étais juste éblouie par son niveau et par la grâce qu'elle avait dans le pipe. Here's the left side 900 well stopped. She goes for the alley and flies, but 540 gets it. Will we see a 720 for Burke? Yes. Et bon, en même temps, j'étais assez un peu déçue de ne pas, de pas être première, mais euh, deuxième place sur le podium avec Sarah, c'est un honneur quand même. Run number three comes in 95.33. Sarah Burke takes the top spot and the gold medal here at Winter X Games 2011 here in Europe. Et euh, en descendant, elle a vu que j'étais triste, mais heureuse pour elle. Et... Elle m'a pris dans ses bras et le premier truc qu'elle m'a dit c'est euh, « I'm sorry, je suis désolée ». Et j'étais là euh, « bah non, sois pas désolée, enfin, t'as as skié euh, super bien, c'est un honneur d'être avec toi sur le podium et euh, que tu me battes euh. ». Tonight, Sarah's friends and fellow athletes will ski for Sarah. Tonight, scare Sarah skis with us in spirit. A powerful presence that has elevated both what is possible in this sport as well as the sport itself reaching the true potential. A tireless advocate for the growth of freestyle skiing, ski superpipe and slopestyle now Olympic medal events. Sadly, just a few days ago, the professional ski community lost another friend, Nick Zoricic. Tonight, we ask you to honor Sarah with a moment of silence.